Hey everyone, um, about almost a week ago now, the Royal Mint put out a video that uh, caught me off guard. I was very surprised that they're actually coming out with a cryptocurrency um, that is backed by gold. I I was expecting to hear, you know, see a lot more videos about this, um, but I didn't. Um, I think that's pretty big news. As you guys know, or I really haven't done a video on cryptocurrencies, but I've commented on many other channels that have in the silver community. I'm not a fan of crypto cryptocurrencies. I think that they're uh, just another form of fiat backed by nothing. Um, so when I saw this, I was uh, pretty surprised. For one, it's the United Kingdom. It's the Royal Mint. And here, I'm on their webpage right here letting you know who runs the Royal Mint. And it's actually, it's government owned by the UK government. The government, the UK government owns the Royal Mint and they're the ones that are releasing this cryptocurrency. And what the cryptocurrency is called, it's gonna be called the RMG. I'm sure that stands for Royal Mint Gold. And this is a cryptocurrency that's actually gonna be backed by gold. Each RMG will be um, backed by one gram of physical gold bullion, which is, which is held at the Royal Mint's vault. So, Super, super surprised that the Royal Mint is, um, or the UK government is getting into, you know, cryptocurrency now. But at least, to me, this cryptocurrency actually makes sense because it's backed by something. Um, it's kind of odd. I mean, is this going to be the beginning of a gold-backed currency? Because um, it looks like it might be the very first step of a possible gold-backed currency in the future. Um, if this takes off the RMG. So yeah, let me go over a little more of this information and I'll provide links down below guys to all these websites I'm going to go to along with the original video that I saw that actually is a pretty good video. It has a lot of the information in it so you don't have to go over all this. But yeah, um, what, they're, what they're selling as the benefit is that there's going to be elimination of all the fees. You know, you no longer have to pay any storage fees or management fees. So it's kind of like... Um, GL, the GLD, you have to pay management fees or, you know, if you buy silver or gold and then you have it stored in a vault, you have to pay, um, you have to pay storage fees. But there is um, tran trans transaction fees. So when you go to sell this, um, sell, sell your, um, your coins, you will actually, the, the RNG, you'll actually have to pay a transaction fee. They don't get into how much it actually is, um, but that is the one fee that is still there. You know, they go over saying, of course, it's guarded, it's real, you really do own it, um, blah, blah, blah. Like I said, you guys can all read through this. I like trying to keep my videos short, let you guys come to your own conclusions. Um, what, this was a good question. I thought, will the buyer be able to take physical possession of their gold? And they said, absolutely, you can. You're obviously going to have to pay for fabrication and delivery fees. So that might be... Um, uh, a little expensive that might not be the way to actually take delivery of your gold might be better just to sell your RMG and then buy gold from a, a large bullion dealer of course they say it's going to be audited you know they have all these things that are audit make sure all the gold is there um, this is something I find funny it says what protection against the government confiscation does RMG offer the gold the gold that backs RMG is held in an allocated basis in a storage vault that is owned by the RMG holders. The Royal Mint acts solely as custodian of the gold, which can be delivered to an RMG holder at his or her request. The Royal Mint has no claim on the gold. But it's still in their vaults, people. Let's let's get real. If the government decides to uh, confiscate gold, um, that's the first gold that's taken. It's already in their vaults. So, you know... I the way I see it and the way a lot of you guys see it if you don't hold it you don't own it so this even though I think this is far better than all the other cryptocurrencies out there so far because it's backed by something there are um which is a benefit there are still cons you don't hold the actual gold you know so if the government does want to take it they can take it and also um you know since this is backed by gold it is going to track the gold price 
a lot of the people are in cryptocurrencies, not for the technology. That's, you know, that's what they all say. It's, it's, it's the technology. That's why I'm in it. No, it's bl blockchain is the technology. Blockchain can be used on anything. I mean, anything at all. So, um, the, the fact that this is actually backed by gold means that this is not going to go parabolic. People are in cryptocurrencies because they're looking to get rich quick. Um, they're looking for it to go up substantially quickly um and they're going to get rich something like this is actually going to it's going to be tracking the price of gold so gold isn't going to go up you know 100 percent in a week or something let's hope it doesn't because if it does then shit's definitely hit the fan and something's going wrong but anyways it's going to be a lot more stable which you can see that as a good or bad thing but i like i like it far better than any other cryptocurrencies because it is backed by something but uh, they go into like who are the technology companies behind it, and it's, it's actually Alpha Point, um, which is the blockchain technology partner, who provide the the trading platform as far as how you're going to trade your RMGs. Um, they're working alongside BitGo um, for a secure platform, and then here is BitGo, another blockchain security company. Um, they're working with the CME Group to deliver the architecture rules. Blah blah blah. Um, I looked at both of those companies. Um, yeah, Alpha Point is a block, blockchain digitalization and trading platform. And then um, BitGo, um, they make digital currencies usable for business. And if you click on the second thing, they're actually pretty proud, that, proud of the fact they're building the blockchain for the Royal Mint, for Royal Mint Gold. Like I said, you guys can read into this as much as you want. But um, I, I think this is... Uh, this looks like the beginning of a gold-backed currency to me. Everybody says that, you know, cryptocurrencies are the future. Um, and that very well may be, but I think it's going to be cryptocurrencies that are probably um, released by governments. Not not just by, you know, the millions that are coming out with almost on a weekly basis now flooding the markets. I think it's going to be, uh, if cryptocurrencies are here around to stay, I think it's going to be backed by something at least. Um and uh this is uh very very interesting that the that the um the united kingdom is coming out with one uh, of cryptocurrency backed by gold very very interesting let me know what you guys think um like i said uh there are some good and bad points to this i would still just rather buy my when i start buying gold i'd rather just buy it and hold it myself i don't need to uh have a government holding my gold for me so Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I look forward to your discussions in the comment sections and see what you guys think about this. Please like, comment, subscribe and I should have some more videos for you guys soon. Thanks for watching.